In this video, I'm going to be explaining exactly what I did to lose 20 pounds in the last three months without using weight loss drugs and or losing a bunch of muscle. And for me, this was literally the easiest weight loss I have ever made. It felt basically, basically virtually effortless. Um, so let's dive right into it, guys. So, all right, let's start with the elephant in the room. How did I, as a fitness coach, allow myself to get to 18% body fat? right? Here's the thing. I, I competed in a powerlifting competition and my goal was to just hit PRs. That's all I cared about, but I wasn't really focusing on my aesthetics at the time. And as a fitness coach, you know, there's a lot of pressure to look a certain way. And to be honest, sometimes I just want to be strong and feel good. Okay. But that definitely factored in. And I let myself get a little too carried away on the diet side. But I did hit PRs and I honestly really enjoyed the process of competing in a powerlifting competition. So I, I honestly don't regret it. All right. But I was definitely motivated to get back into a certain standard with my physique after this competition. And I, I was honestly shocked to see that I was 18% on the DEXA scan when I got those results. And there's a lesson there, right? Like it's easy to get comfortable and underestimate how much body fat you really do have. So that's why I encourage everyone to get in, get a DEXA scan and or an in-body scan and get an accurate measurement of where your body fat is at. It can be pretty eye-opening and, and humbling, as you can see. So fast forward three months later, and I'm under 13% body fat, and I kept all of my muscle. All right, now I'm going to go into exactly what I ate to get there, but let's start with how I trained. All right, like I said, I was coming out of a powerlifting prep. All right. So I went from basically strictly strength training to hundred percent bodybuilding style workouts with more hypertrophy type rep ranges. All right. And I think this really played a big role in the transformation because my body really seemed to react well to the new stimulus. Right. I always hear people say it's 90, 90% diet. People just throw that out there, but training definitely has a huge impact and, and role plays a huge role in your progress. Okay, you have to add the stimulus that is actually going to change your body composition. Okay, if you were to just, you know, if, if I was to just go ahead in this past three months, just do a ton of cardio to lose that 20 pounds, then I probably would have lost just as much muscle as I would have lost fat, right? So I also want to point out um, why periodizing your training can be so effective as well. All right, so what this means, what periodization is, is having periods of time where you focus on one aspect of training, and then you switch to a different focus. All right. I believe how strong I got when I was doing my powerlifting prep, I think it really has helped me even in these hypertrophy rep ranges and this new style of training and vice versa, doing the bodybuilding style of training now, focusing on building muscle and losing fat is really going to help me in my strength training in the future. Okay. So don't feel like you have to pigeonhole yourself into one style of training. I believe that period as I periodizing and going after different goals in different seasons of life can be really helpful to your long-term progress. And it keeps things fun, right? Um, all right, as promised, now let's get into what I actually ate to reach these goals. And guys, it was pretty dang simple. Like for the last three months, I started out around 2,400 calories and I only got down to under about 2K a day. So I didn't get that low. Right, I stuck to a little over one gram per pound of body weight in protein. For specificity, specificity state, I'm just under 178 pounds now, and I'm having around 210 grams of protein a day. All right, I kept my fats around 50 grams, and the rest came from carbs. Now, here's the actual foods that I ate in this process. So, protein sources were eggs egg whites, chicken, whey protein, Greek yogurt, and occasionally steak. So kind of six different protein sources. My carb sources were sweet potatoes, strawberries, blueberries, bananas, broccoli, and occasionally quinoa and occasionally oatmeal. So about seven different carb sources, right? Fat sources were really just mostly from, from the eggs and the meats that I was eating. Guys, that is literally it. I kept it very simple for three months. I rotated some of those carbs and protein sources. And, and basically the only things I had to prep for myself each week was the protein. Like, I'm not kidding. It took me under an hour and still does take me 
under an hour each week to prep out everything that I need for the week. Okay, so a few key points that I believe made this feel effortless for me is number one, I really actually like these, all of these foods that I mentioned. I like them a lot, right? I don't get sick of them. I think this is really important when it comes to sticking to a diet, like find foods that are still going to help you get to your goals, but that you can stick to and you actually enjoy. All right. So that's number one. Number two is, like I said, it's so simple. Like all of this was so easy and accessible that it made it feel like I barely had to make food for myself or make a lot of different decisions. I feel like decision fatigue is a real thing, especially when dieting. So just make the different options. Like don't have that much. You don't have to have that much variety. As long as it's foods that you like, you're not, you're probably not going to get that sick of it, right? You can rotate a few things out here and there, but keep it simple. Okay. So that's number two. Number three is these are all whole foods, right? They're whole nutrient dense foods that are low in calories. Um, yeah, they've got single ingredients. That's what whole foods really means. So I never really felt hungry. Um, you know, I promise you, I did not feel hungry through this process. Like, and I, and I was eating pretty good. 2000 to 2,400 calories is not super low, right? When you lose 20 pounds. So these foods, foods kept me feeling like really fueled up and recovered the entire time. And I've tried the whole, if it fits your macros approach, right? In the past, like, um, I think one of the main downsides there is if you think about it, like say if you have, I don't know, a five guys cheeseburger and you're making that fit your macros, if it fit your fits your macros, it's probably 1500 calories right there. What are you going to eat the rest of the day, right? Like a couple of pieces of fruit and a protein shake, right? So the, the if it fits your macros approach, um, I feel like it doesn't take into account like the safety satiety of everything. And when you stick to mostly whole foods, the calories are so low compared to the nutrients that you get that you just feel satiated and fueled up the entire time. Okay. Um, so yeah, so I find sticking to the whole foods with single ingredients makes things much easier and better in multiple different ways. All right. So th there it is guys. That's, that's how I lost 20 pounds of pure fat in the last three months without using like weight loss drugs and or losing a bunch of muscle, right? And I can't stress enough how easy this felt, right? Now, obviously I pushed myself in the gym. i am always got the intensity high to add that stimulus like I talked about, but the diet side guys felt effortless. All right, so take some of that, use it for your own progress or don't. <laughs> I don't, doesn't really make a difference for me, right? But if you did find value in this video, please like the damn video and subscribe. I'd like to grow the channel so that I can justify putting more time into it and help spread the knowledge that I have and experience to help others. So guys, make sure to like and subscribe. I'll see you in the next video. And in the meantime, elevate every damn day. Peace. Elevate. Only obligation is to tell it straight.